or false? This is false lily of the valley. True, it's false. Now one of the most common and most gorgeous ground covers we have here in Cascadia is false lily of the valley. They tend to grow in shady, moist environments alongside riverbanks or streams or even coastal environments in forests dominated by Sitka spruce like this little zone here. They sprout early in the springtime before other perennials and are easily identifiable by their big waxy heart-shaped leaves that are really smooth and waxy on top and kind of shiny on the underside. They then form these really beautiful clusters of tiny white flowers that once they're fertilized they turn into green berries which ripen to a really rich red. They're absolutely gorgeous. So false lily of the valley looks really similar to lily of the valley which is a highly poisonous plant so the biggest way to tell them apart again is the heart-shaped leaves. Similarly, they grow on long slender stalks on creeping rhizomes which has also earned them the nickname of snakeberry. Now traditionally, these berries weren't a major food source for First Nations in the area, although they did use the leaves, stalks, and rhizomes for various medicinal purposes. So that's False Lily of the Valley, a gorgeous ground cover here in Cascadia that accents the forest in just the most beautiful way. <sighs> Love these guys. Wow. Dang, what a beauty. If you're enjoying these videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel below or just keep watching to keep learning because the more you know, the more fun you're gonna have next time you're outside in nature, enjoying it. Sure is rad out here. There's just, there's so much green, you know? I've never seen this much green before. <laughs>